माय चैनल केमिस्ट्री स्पीयर एलपी एजुकेशन प्राइवेट लिमिटेड तरफ रु एक अभिनव प्रयास आज हमें आलोचना करबा इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री हो जी प्लस 2 साइंस सेकंड ईयर स्टूडेंट्स मानक में निहाती एप्लीकेबल एवं से माने 2019 बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन देबे से माने ये एक लॉन्ग कोर्स इन भी आसी परे तनो भलो से प्रिपेयर होबा आवश्यक आज ही हमें आलोचना करबा इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री का गाल्वानिक सेल्स फ्रेंड्स गाल्वानिक सेल कुमु जीवा पूर्वरु आपन मन को गोडी दिरा पॉइंट बुझेबी इलेक्ट्रोलिटिक सेल आ इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल कोन सेल को जदी हमें क्लासिफाई करबा ए साधारणत दी प्रकार गोटे हो जी इलेक्ट्रोलिटिक सेल इलेक्ट्रोलिटिक सेल से गुडा को जो गुडा को इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी को केमिकल एनर्जी रे कन्वर्ट करंती इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी को केमिकल एनर्जी रे कन्वर्ट करंती आज जे एग्जांपल हम नबा वोल्टामीटर अनदर टाइप ऑफ सेल इज इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल मतलब द डिवाइस व्हिच कन्वर्ट्स केमिकल एनर्जी इनटू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी केमिकल एनर्जी इनटू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी आमे घर जो बैटरी व्यवहार करचे इन्वर्टर बैटरी जो व्यवहार करचे ए सब नॉर्मली इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल सो फ्रेंड्स आमे डी कंफर्म हैले सेल को जदी आमे क्लासिफाई करबा या जो दी प्रकार गोटे होची इलेक्ट्रोलिटिक सेल आउट होची इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल इलेक्ट्रोलिटिक सेल से गुडा को जो माने इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी को केमिकल एनर्जी कन्वर्ट करंती आउ इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल होची जो गुडा को केमिकल एनर्जी को इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी रे कन्वर्ट करंती ओके फ्रेंड्स गाल्वानिक सेल जदि आमे आलोचना करबा गाल्वानिक सेल मध्ये गोटे इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल सो फ्रेंड्स कम टू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ गाल्वानिक सेल गाल्वानिक सेल्स गाल्वानिक सेल इज द इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल गाल्वानिक सेल इज द इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल इन व्हिच रिडॉक्स रिएक्शन अकर्स साइमल्टेनियसली इन व्हिच Redox reaction occurs simultaneously, and the loss of free energy appears in the form of electrical energy. After this definition, the galvanic cell is called electrochemical cell. Galvanic cell is called electrochemical cell in which redox reaction takes place. Jodi redox reaction hui. Redox reaction means what? Na jodi ekka sangare oxidation aur reduction reaction hui. Friends, oxidation reduction jodi ame koi ba. आरो सिंपली डेफिनेशन अछि सिंपली फार्मूला अछि निमोनिक अछि ऑयल एंड रिक ऑक्सीडेशन इज लॉस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन रिडक्शन इज गेन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रेंड्स मन रहबो ऑक्सीडेशन इज लॉस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन रिडक्शन इज गेन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑयल रिक सिंपली जदी ऑक्सीडेशन और रिडक्शन एक का संगे हबो आमे ताको रिडक्स रिएक्शन बोली कहउछ ताको आमे रिडॉक्स रिएक्शन बोली कहउछ रिडॉक्स रिएक्शन व्हेन ऑक्सीडेशन एंड रिडॉक्शन टेक्स प्लेस साइमल्टेनियसली गाल्वानिक सेल केस रे ऑक्सीडेशन और रिडॉक्शन रिएक्शन दिदा को साइमल्टेनियसली होता ता माने गाल्वानिक सेल पाखे रे रिडॉक्स रिएक्शन होए कम टू अगेन द डेफिनेशन गाल्वानिक सेल्स आर द इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल्स इन व्हिच रिडॉक्स रिएक्शन टेक्स प्लेस साइमल्टेनियसली एंड द लॉस ऑफ free energy appears in the form of electrical energy the loss of free energy appears in the form of electrical energy okay free energy ame thermodynamics chapter e padhiche free energy kon that is normally denoted by del g del g means here in case of galvanic cell del g is negative whenever del g is negative then the reaction is spontaneous okay आमे वर्तमान गाल्वानिक सेल रो कंस्ट्रक्शन को जीवा केमती आमे गाल्वानिक सेल बनेबा फ्रेंड्स डेफिनेशन को भलसे मन रखियो जोठी रिडॉक्स रिएक्शन एका सागर हुए एंड द लॉस ऑफ फ्री एनर्जी अपीयर्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी दैट इज कॉल्ड एज गाल्वानिक सेल एंड गाल्वानिक सेल इज द इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल ओके दिस इज द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ गाल्वानिक सेल दिस इज द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ गाल्वानिक सेल लुक टू द फिगर एंड नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू बिट बाय बिट 0.1 मोलर सॉल्यूशन ऑफ जेडनेसो4 इज टेकन इन ए बीकर ए कंटेनर इन व्हिच ए जिंक रॉड इज डिप्ड इन व्हिच ए जिंक रॉड इज डिप्ड दिस पर्टिकुलर अपरेटस दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट इज कॉल्ड एज जिंक हाफ सेल दैट इज योर जिंक हाफ सेल ओके ओके दिस योर जिंक हाफ सेल ए कंटेनर इन व्हिच 
0.1 molar solution of zeleno SO4 is taken and a zinc rod is dipped. This is called as zinc half cell. Okay. It contains only one electron, hence half cell. Okay. And 0.1 molar solution of copper sulfate is taken in another beaker, another vessel, in which a copper rod is dipped. In which a copper rod is dipped. This particular cell, this particular cell or device or part of the device is called as copper half cell. Copper half cell. Okay. This is your zinc half cell. This is your copper half cell. Okay. In zinc half cell, we have already taken 0.1 molar solution of zeleno SO4 zinc sulfate and in copper half cell, we have already taken 0.1 molar solution of copper sulfate. Okay. The two Containers, the two containers are connected with a doubly bent U tube. This is U shaped tube, a doubly bent, two side bent. Doubly bent U tube is called as salt bridge. This device is called as salt bridge. Okay. And in the salt bridge, some inert solutions are used, that is inert solution. And the inert solutions are agar agar, gelatin, NH4Cl, etc. Okay. It contains inert solution. Like agar agar, gelatin, and NH four Cl. Okay, it contains inert solutions, and the two. Metallic electrodes, the zinc rod and copper rod, are joined with a galvanometer. It is insulated copper wire and it is also connecting with a galvanometer. The aim of using galvanometer is to detect the direction of flow of current. Ame direction of flow of electric current could janiya pay galvanometer at use karche. Friends, charita part, monarchy by the first part. What a 0.1 molar solution of zeleno for amine le what a container re jodi what a zinc rod amine dip kole ja ko amine zinc half cell boli koile. E but a what a container re amine le 0.1 molar solution of copper sulfate jodi what a copper rod amine dip kole. E bang eight ko amine bolte copper half cell. Di ta ko half cell ko amine what a double bent U tube re connect kole. Jo double bent U tube ko amine salt bridge boli koche. E salt bridge bhi thei amar inert solution ko da kochi agar agar gelatin. And NH4Cl. Okay, the two half cells are connected with a with insulated copper wire and connecting with a galvanometer. The aim of using the galvanometer is to detect the flow of electric current, to detect the flow direction of flow of electric current. Okay, so now we will discuss the necessary chemical reactions happening at the electrodes. Okay, we know that. Both oxidation and reduction takes place simultaneously. That means redox reaction. Okay. Cell reactions. Okay. So I am about to now talk about cell reactions. Friends, on connecting the copper rod, zinc rod dissolves first on the basis of oxidation potential. Okay. So Zn, that is a solid that will be converted into Zn2 plus that is aqueous plus two electron. Here two electrons are lost. Here two electrons are lost. We know that as electrons are lost here, as electrons are lost here, oxidation takes place. Oxidation takes place at zinc rod. Okay. Oxidation takes place at zinc rod. As electrons are lost. Oxidation takes place at zinc rod because I have already given you the principle. Oil oxidation is loss of electron. Oxidation is loss of electron. As electrons are lost at zinc rod, oxidation takes place at zinc rod. Okay, and we know that red cat an ox red cat. An ox. This is another mnemonic. You have to remember it. Red cat means reduction always occurs at cathode. Reduction always occurs at cathode. And oxidation always occurs at anode. Friends, remember. It is. Jethu oxidation ta zinc pakhre hela. 
तो जिंक तक को हमें कोई परिवार एनोड कहीं ना ऑक्सीडेशन टा सबू बड़े एनोड पकेरे हुए इडिजोर एनोड ओके नाउ वी कंफर्म दैट जिंक रोड इज एनोड बिकॉज़ ऑक्सीडेशन टेक्स प्लेस एट एनोड ओके द टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स द टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लॉस्ट बाय जिंक रोड मूव्स टुवर्ड्स द कॉपर through insulated copper wire this is your insulated copper wire the two electrons will move towards copper rod okay and the reaction taking place at copper rod that is your cu 2 plus it is your aqueous the two electrons will be captured by copper it will also converted to cu solid it is also converted into solid okay as electrons are gained here here electrons are gained as electrons are added here, it is your rig. Reduction is gain of electrons. Reduction occurs at reduction occurs at copper terminal. Okay, copper rod. Okay. As electrons are added or gain of electrons occurs, then reduction occurs at copper rod. Okay. And we know that. Red cat reduction always occurs at cathode. Hence, as reduction occurs at copper rod, copper behaves as cathode. Copper behaves as cathode. Okay. And now we confirm zinc rod is anode and copper rod is cathode. Okay. Zinc rod is anode and copper rod is cathode. Okay. That means here oxidation and reduction reaction takes place simultaneously. This is called as redox reaction. Previously, I have already told that, told you that when oxidation and reduction takes place simultaneously, that is called as redox reaction. Okay. This is the cell reaction occurs in galvanic cell. Okay. So next point here, the electrons are lost. This will move towards the copper rod. The copper rod will trap the two electrons here. Oxidation takes place here. Reduction takes place. This is your this is your anode. This is your cathode. So friends, another point is to remember cathode is always negative. We know that cathode is always negative. But in case of galvanic cell, cathode is positive. Cathode is positive. Most important point cathode is positive and anode is negative because in case of cathode, in case of galvanic cell, electrons are added at cathode. We know that electrons are negative, electrons are negative. It is added at cathode means cathode should be negative. Since there is demand of electrons at cathode, cathode will behave as positive terminal. Okay, then the next point. As electrons are moved towards anode to cathode, as electrons are moved towards cathode, anode to cathode, then electric current will move from cathode to anode. This is the conventional system of electric current. Conventional system of electric current. This is your anode. This is your cathode. Okay. Here cathode is positive okay this is the movement of electrons this is the movement of electrons and this is the movement of electric current this is the movement of electric current okay this is the movement of electric current according to conventional system of electric current the direction of flow of electric current is always opposite to the direction of flow of electrons and the direction of flow of current will be determined by galvanometer. Will be determined by galvanometer. Okay. So galvanometer is the device which detects the direction of flow of electric current. Okay. This is your galvanic cell. My aim is to explain how galvanic cell generates electrical energy by consuming chemical energy. Here the energy present at the chemicals is nothing but the chemical energy but after the reaction and oxidation reaction, the redox reaction, 
energy is released that is your electrical energy that means the chemical energy is converted into electric energy okay now what is the function of salt bridge salt bridge is normally used to complete the circuit is normally used to complete the circuit okay salt bridge is normally used to complete the circuit and it also avoids the liquid junction potential it also avoids the liquid junction potential the salt bridge contains inert solutions like agar agar gelatin nh4cl etc okay and another function of salt bridge it also maintains electrical neutrality between the two half cells it also maintains the electrical neutrality between the two half cells okay it never interfere in the net cell reaction it never interferes in the net cell reaction okay so how can you represent a galvanic cell let's consider this galvanic cell here it is your zn solid it is your zn 2 plus it is your aqueous and this is your salt bridge it is your cu2 plus aqueous it is your cu solid okay so this is the direction of flow of electron this is the direction of flow of electric current electric current okay this is the direction of flow of electric current friends this is your galvanic cell jodi galvanic cell apan completely bujhi paru na di comment box jantu apan je konsi question mate ड्रप करें मुझे क्वेश्चन को प्रॉपरली सॉल्व करके आप नेक्स्ट वीडियो में